Hello guys, welcome back to my channel San and Nastaki. And in this video, we will discuss about zoning in Cisco MDS SAN switch. So I have already discussed in my previous videos what is zoning and how we can do zoning in brocade switch. In this video, we will concentrate about uh, zoning in Cisco MDS SAN switch. So Before proceeding further, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that whatever new video I upload in my channel, you will get a notification immediately. So first, let's discuss some important terms on zoning. So first one is WWPN, so worldwide port name, and this is the unique address which will be assigned to any physical port or any physical FC port in a SAN network. So this is how a WWPN will looks like and the next is fc alias so this is a human readable name of wwpn so wwpn is very hard to remember that's why we give a alias name to it so here in cisco we called it as fc alias now the next one is a zone zone is basically a group of uh, alias so these alias can be a fc alias of host wwpn and it can also be a fc alias of storage array port wwpn so now active zone set so group of zones which are in active state in every fabric you will have a active uh, zone set so whatever zones will be inside the active zone set those zones are effective only so if any zones which is not a part of active zone set then that zone will not be in effective state and uh, the communication will not happen between the fc alias member which are part of that zone so next one is config terminal this is a terminal mode where all configuration changes happens in cisco mds sans switches so we will assume that uh, the fabric already have a active zone set as zoning is basically a task for beginners so definitely you will have a active zone set already created for you next prerequisites of zoning in cisco mds sans switch so first of all we must have ssh or gui connectivity to cisco mds SAN switch then we also should have the server name or host name for zoning wwpn of server hba port we need that as well which will be connected to the each fabric and uh, we also need wwpn of uh, front end storage array port which are connected to the fabric so once we have all this information we can proceed for uh, zoning so first let's discuss about the overall steps of zoning in Cisco MDS SAN switch. So first thing we'll have to check the connectivity of HBA port to fabric. We will discuss how we can do this in command line in coming slides. So the second steps would be create FC alias name for HBA port WWPN and storage array port WWPN. If the FC alias is already created, then you can skip these steps. If not, then we'll have to perform this. Then create a zone and add FC alias member in it. And FC alias members are nothing but uh, the FC alias that we created for HBA port WWPN and storage array port WWPN. So next we'll have to add the newly created zone to active zone set and then commit the zone. This step is only applicable if extended zone set is enabled. If it is not, then we can skip this step as well. Then we'll have to perform the activate the zone set. So usually zone set will be in active state only. But whenever we make changes in a fabric, we'll have to activate the zone set again. And uh, next, copy running config to start of config. So basically, this command will copy all the configuration which is in running mode to the start of config. So whenever a switch will be rebooted, it will take the information from the start of config only. So this step is very much uh, important. If you are missing this, then definitely you may lose some zoning information after a reboot happens to switch in a fabric. Now let's start with the commands of zoning in Cisco MDS switch. First, we have to enter to the config mode and uh, we'll have to execute config T command. So T stands for terminal. So once you execute this command, we can see here that uh, prompt is changed and within bracket we can see config. This means that we are inside the configuration mode. and uh, then we'll have to check the connectivity and for that the command is show fcns database grep hyphen i and then the wwpn of the hba port or the storage array port 
So this will basically show whether the HBA port or the storage array port is connected to the fabric and whether it's ready for zoning. Now the next step was create FC alias for host and storage array. So as we can see here that we are already in config mode. So we don't have to execute the command config T. So in order to create the FC alias, we'll have to execute command FC alias name host name underscore HBA1. So this is basically the name. This can be anything based on your environment or the naming convention that you, you are following. So then vSAN and 3. So vSAN is uh, basically a virtualization method. It's a completely entire different topic to cover up. I will not go deep inside that, but uh, let's assume that vSAN 3, we are using it for our zoning. So now this command will create a FC alias with name that we have given here and it will also take us to the FC alias config mode. In next command you can also see that the config hyphen FC alias is there which means that we are inside configuration mode of FC alias. Now the next command will be member pwwn and then the HBA port name here. Basically these two command will create a FC alias name of pwwn that we have mentioned here. Next we have to type exit so that we will come out of FC alias config mode. Next we will create another FC alias with the help of same command but here we will give the FC alias name as array underscore port 1. So this is basically the FC alias for storage array front end port and FC alias name array underscore port 1 vsan3. This will create a FC alias name. Also it will take us to the FC alias config mode. And inside this, we'll have to add the member and the member will be member pwwn and the wwpn of the front end array port and then exit to come out of the FC alias config mode. Next, we will create a zone in Cisco MDS switch. For this also, we have to be inside the config mode and the command is zone name zone one. So this is the name of the zone. You can give it anything based on your naming convention that you follow in your environment and then the vsan3. This particular command will create a zone with name zone1. It will also take us to the config mode of zone. So here we can see that uh, config hyphen zone is there which means that we are inside the config mode of zone and then we'll have to add the fc alias members into the zone1. For that the command is member fc alias host name underscore hba1 and then we'll have to add the FC alias for storage array port and for that we just have to type member FC alias array underscore port 1. So these three command will create a zone in vsan3 with FC alias member host name underscore hba1 and the array underscore port 1. Again we have to type exit command to come out of the config mode of zone. Now the next step is to determine the active zone set, add the zone inside it and then activate it. For this command as well we have to be in config mode and in order to determine the active zone set we'll have to execute command show zone set active vsan3. So this command output will be a little bit longer but uh, you have to search for a line. Usually it will present at the first line itself. So zone set name zone set 3 vsan3. The name here that is zone set 3 active zone set. Now we'll have to go inside config mode of active zone set. So for that we'll have to execute command zone set name and then the name of the active zone set vsan3. So this command will take us inside the config mode of zone set and uh, then we'll have to type member zone1. So zone1 is the zone that we have uh, created. So in case of you have created a different zone then the name will be different here. Now the next command will be zone commit vsan3. Now the zone commit is only applicable if you have uh, extended zoning is enabled in your fabric or else you can just uh, skip these steps. Now a question for you guys what is extended zoning? So put your answer in the comment section and let's see how many people are aware of it. Uh, the next step would be to activate the zone set that we can do by executing the command zone set activate then the active zone set name in this case we have zone set 3 vsan3. Once you execute this command or activate the zone set then the zoning configuration that you have done 
will be in effective mode so this command is basically will have to execute every time we make a changes in the zoning configuration so the next step would be to copy running config to start of config so this will basically copy all the running config to the start of config so that post reboot of any switch the os will take information from the start of config if you miss this step then uh, post reboot you may lost some information on zoning so that's all for this video hope you have uh, got some idea how to do zoning in cisco mds sand switch if you have any questions or any extra knowledge to share then uh, put your feedback in comment section and once again don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for notification for new upcoming videos